Are you ready to contain yourself with these clever storage solutions for your home? Hey, Tori here with ToriTote.com, the place to be to create a home buyers or anyone for that matter will find irresistible. Welcome to the final video in this four part home organizing video series. Um, if you've missed any of the videos, guess what? All you gotta do is subscribe right here and you can go check them out. All right, so I wanted to talk to you about different storage solutions you can use in your home right now. And I figured what better way to do that than go through our closet. Now at one point, this closet was completely organized, um, but, and there are some things that are functional in here that we can use again, except you know, life's kind of creeped back in and it's became a mess again. Marathon. but you need to watch out because I got a pretty good shot. Okay, so now that we've got everything pretty much out of the closet, I wanna take a few measurements because I wanna add um, a few new storage solutions I think are, that are gonna be beneficial in here. So I'm going to take the measurement, uh, the width of the door, I think this is a pretty good solution. It just got a little messy over time, but I like that we could keep our um, wrapping paper in here. And we have a little shelf in here that works. This could wheel out and wheel in the closet if the closet was just a little bit bigger. But um, I like the fact that it has these baskets that you could just pull right out and utilize. Um, and another important tip here is that you wanna make sure that you're labeling everything that's going in these bins. So we have a gift supply bin, an art supply, crafts, and then this one is probably just going to be whatever's left over. I haven't figured that out yet. All right, and then up above, I'm putting my ex some of my extra vases. I think I have too many. Um, so that is one thing that's becoming an overload in this closet. So I'm gonna pare down my vases. I don't need them all. So I do recommend reusing what you already have. Um, we had this tension rod. What I decided to do was to put our ri ribbons on the tension rod here. This way you can easily access uh, what you need and then always secure the end of the ribbon with either um, some type of pin or even just some tape. This way it doesn't unwind while it's sitting there. You can get creative too with um, some towel holders. So this is a towel holder in acrylic. Um, and what I like to do in here again is take anything kind of with a hole in it. Um, so I have some tickets for um, my office, but of course we have tape, so you can put your tape rolls on here, um, duct tape, anything that you want. So it's easily accessible. You could just kind of pull this out, grab what you need, and then put it back. So I'm gonna put this right on the shelf on top um, right here so we can access it at all times. Now, another thing that I have a lot of is just um, some random fabrics and stuff like that for when I sew or when I'm um, looking to do something with these fabrics. And I just put them inside this basket. Again, I'm gonna sit this basket right here on top. I found this cute little organizer and I figured we go through a lot of batteries in this home, so I'm going to put our remaining batteries inside here. This way it could sit right up on top of the shelf and we can access these whenever we need to. You can find storage solutions that have a top or no top. And really that just depends on if you're going to be able to open the top all the time. A lot of times people are lazy um, and this is especially true with kids they won't open the top to put the thing inside. Rather, they would just keep it on the outside near the storage solution, but not necessarily inside. So if that's the case happening in your household, make sure that you're finding storage solutions that don't necessarily have a top. 
So inside um, our office, we use a lot of storage boxes like these. These are actually um, file boxes for paperwork, except on the outside, you know, they're all, they're pretty. They usually have a pattern on it or some type of fabric. Um, so it really goes cohesive with the design that you're trying to promote inside the room. Now, um, inside this box, you don't necessarily have to be that organized. But, um, as long as you have everything that goes to this group, so let's say this is education for our company, so as long as all of the educational stuff is in this box, then you'll be able to sift through it and find. Of course, another great solution is baskets. Um, we have plenty to go around in our house, so I'm just going to reuse this basket that I found. Um, and keep our memorabilia in here right now. I'm going to need to actually do something with this stuff, but um, I at least want all the memorabilia in one place. We do a lot of arts and crafts, so rather than put these brushes away, I like to keep them um, readily available. I usually put them, we will put them right here. Now, since um, this closet is pretty tall, we did get a small stepladder which I like to actually hang um, on a big hook right here on the side. And remember that door issue I had? I needed some extra storage in here just for a little things. And so I found um, this type of organizer that I can just hang on the door. Basically how I'm using it is for all of my um, cards, thank you notes, little craft things that um, I don't really know where else to put them. So that is how I'm going to be using this. And it meshes well with everything else in here because again, we have the gift supplies, we have craft supplies, art supplies. So this is going to be for all those little things um, that goes along with those projects. Comment below and let us know what you thought about this video as well as the video series. And if it's helped you, please share also what you plan on getting organized in 2017. Remember, for more home staging and decorating tips, you can check out our website, www.torytote.com, or go subscribe right here to our channel. And remember, the more time you spend organizing, the cleaner your home is going to be. Until next time, happy organizing.